and welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the steps required for publishing API products and plans on the new Tyke Enterprise Developer Portal. So let's get started. Before we begin, there are a few prerequisites that you need to be aware of. First, you need to have a Tyke self-managed installation, the valid license key. Second, that there should be Enterprise Developer Portal already installed. Then you should have the Tyke self-managed installation added as a provider in the developer portal. And then finally, you should have created and imported API products and plans already from the type self managed installation to the developer portal. Now let's head on over to the type portal. Once again, the administrative app. Now let's look at two aspects to this. And before we proceed, let's talk about catalogs first. This is very, very important because this is essentially what enables us to publish our API product. So catalogs enable the publishing of API products and plans based on visibility and access requirements. The catalog can be set to either public or private. And as an admin, you can customize the audience of a private catalog at a team level, allowing you to create completely custom catalogs if needed. So that is essentially what catalogs are. And if we go into our catalog section, we already have two catalogs that are created. One is private and the other one is public and they have their visibility set to um, public and internal. You can create new catalogs if you want, and you can have it um, accessible only by specific teams, specific audiences, if you would so desire. Now, while you're doing that, you can also add elements to, you can add products here. So I have two products right now. I've got user data API product, and I've got two plans, premium and freemium. I'm going to add these two to my public catalog and I'm going to head on over to my private catalog and I'm going to add the user data and freemium plan to this catalog. So I've got two catalogs. This is one way of adding products to a catalog. The other way to do that will be to go over to the API products, hitting the product API, going all the way down here and um, picking which catalog you might want to choose. So if I wanted to choose, say, for it to be present in both public and private catalogs, I can do that as well. That's an easy way for doing this. Uh, no, nope, I don't want to be saving changes. On to plans, you can do it very similarly here as well. If you were to open up the premium plan, you'll be able to see that you can choose which catalog it belongs to. So now let's look at what that actually means and what that actually does. So right now, so far, we've been working with the developer portal administrative app. Now, what we're going to be doing is heading over to the live portal. So over to the live portal, this is essentially what external uh, API consumers or third-party developers and partners are going to be able to see. You can provide information about your API products, about maybe the company itself, if you would like, or what you're trying to accomplish here, some of the use case information that might come. How do you get started? What is the process? Mm -hmm. Who is using your API so far to build out their own products? All of that information can be presented here, and this is completely customizable. The main region that we're going to be looking at, the segment, is going to be under catalogs. So if you look at catalogs, right now I'm looking at all catalogs, and that is giving me access to um, the user data and user data API product. And of course, I'm an admin, so I have access to both of them. If I just look at the public catalog, I have created and added both of them in here. I can head on over to, say, the private catalog, which will, if I search, it will give me this information. I go over to the public catalog and hit search, I'll be able to get this information as well. So my, my public and my private catalogs are separated. So now moving inside the product itself, I can see what kind of APIs are available. I've got my user purchase history, I've got my user preferences, and I've got my user info. And what I can do is I can actually use this API product and I can choose. So I've got a plan that is associated here as well, plan that is made available to me as well. And inside the public catalog, which is the premium plan, I'm going to be just hitting add to cart. Once I've done that, I can head on over to my cart and I can see what, what all is available to me. So we've got my selected products. I already have my user data API product available. I can select which plan, which is going to be premium in this case. I can choose whether I want to use an existing app, which I do not have, or I can create a new app. I'm going to give this app a name. Let's call it the user details or user personalization. 
app. And I can say this app helps users get personalized information based on preferences and purchase history. I can have a redirect URL if I want to, but I don't need it at this point, and I'm going to be submitting my request. So as soon as that happens, I can go back to my API consumer dashboard, and that's going to give me my app requests that I've sent through. And right now, if I go inside it, I'll be able to see that it is pending access. It gives me the information that I've presented, what have I actually purchased and requested access for, um, and then it is under pending access. So now moving, switching hats over to the API provider, I can head back over to the admin app and I can head on over to this section of API consumers. And this is where you'll get all of your requests. So if I go over to apps, I'll see that I've got a user personalization app request that has come in with information over here and it is pending uh, my approval. So let's see if we can head on over to access requests and I can, once again, find out more information and I have a choice to approve or reject. So let me approve this. And there you have it. We have approved this request. Now, if I were to go back here and hit refresh, I'll be able to see that my, my access has been approved. I've got my token ID, I've got my hash. Now I can start using this API product to build out my application. So there you have it. That is a few steps required in order for you to publish your APIs and looking at the consumption flow of, uh, of an API consumer accessing the API products and plans that you have created. If you have any further questions or if you'd like to find out more, head on over to the Taik documentation website. It has all of the different examples that you would need in order to uh, try out and test out the new developer portal and publishing your APIs. Ultimately, that is the objective of the developer portal to uh, enable consumption, easy discovery of APIs and easy searchability of APIs, productization, as well as monetization of APIs. So that is kind of what we are promoting here with this new uh, enterprise developer portal. So hope you found that useful. Until next time, cheers and take care.